Hello, I'm Al Roberson, Senior Consultant at Red Hat, and I'm joined today by my friend and colleague, Dave Sarine, Senior Architect at Red Hat. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Identity Manager, its integration with Active Directory, and how to configure smart card authentication within that environment. Excellent, well, thank you, Al. Um, why is this an important topic? There are millions of smart cards in use today. Our customers, clients of all sizes, realize that username and password is not strong enough by itself to protect their computer resources. As a matter of fact, the US government has mandated that we move to smart card authentication for all computer-related resources in the government. Identity Manager provides you with a centralized way to manage user information in a Linux domain. Active Directory integration is fairly simple and it allows administrators to take advantage of the investment that they've already made in user lifecycle. Okay, so where would a systems administrator start when they need to embark on this process? For us, it always starts with Identity Manager. The installation process is fairly simple. It's a one-line command, IPA server install. It requests a minimal amount of information. The installation script performs the rest of it for you. It installs the DNS server, the Kerberos server, certificate, and LDAP. Once that is completed, you are ready to begin the process of starting to use IDM as your authenticator. Now, there are a few key caveats that you'll want to remember. One, start with a minimal install of the rel OS allow the installation script to resolve any packages for you. Two, make sure all ports are open prior to beginning the installation. And number three, you want Identity Manager to be in a unique domain. It's gonna install a Kerberos server and that realm has to be unique within the environment in which it's operating. So, after this, we then wanna integrate in with Active Directory. That process uh, is also fairly simple. It uh, requires a couple more packages, Samba Client and the IPA AD Trust install. Once the command is run to join IDM to AD, it acts as a domain controller within that environment. That will allow Identity Manager to access the users that are in AD. A couple of caveats in this situation. You will need a domain controller access in this environment that can join IDM as a domain controller. It is a one-way trust, so there is no information flowing back from IDM to AD. Once that process is completed, you'll want to run a few test commands to make sure that you can see the user information in the Active Directory domain and that you can generate a ticket. Excellent, and one other thing to take into account here as well is you need to make sure that you account for any potential UID, GID conflicts between the information that's gonna get passed from Active Directory and what already exists in your Linux infrastructure. Absolutely. The last step in this process is to register the client with IDM. This is done with a one-liner as well. The IPA client install command, once again, prompts you for a few pieces of information and then registers the system with IDM. At that point, you're pretty much ready to start using smart card authentication. This presumes that you're not using a physical system. In that case, you will need to install the drivers for the card reader, but that's it. Excellent. So to recap, we're going to install IDM. We're going to configure the existing client to connect to IDM, and IDM is going to leverage that one-way trust. So when you go about doing your smart card authentication, the user is going to authenticate to the Linux host via SSSD. SSSD is then going to check OpenSC. OpenSC is then going to validate that the certificate hasn't expired. And it will also check your CRL and OCSP responses to make sure that it hasn't been revoked. Once that has come back that the certificate hasn't been revoked and it's not expired, OpenSC is going to pass a successful authentication uh, message back to SSSD. SSSD is then going to take that and pass that on down to IDM, and IDM is going to say, I don't have that user. Let me ask Active Directory. So via the one-way trust, IDM is going to ask Active Directory for the user. Active Directory is going to say, yes, I have this user, and they are not otherwise prohibited from logging in. 
IDM will then send what's called a pack back to the system, which has all of the user's pertinent information, group membership, uh, UID, GID, any other attributes that is part of that user uh, to be leveraged as part of uh, that system. So that's the process for doing smart card authentication. That's as tough as it gets. So for more information, uh, please contact your existing account team or go to www.redhat.com services.